everybody, my name is Susie and this is Adrian, and we are with Kids in the Kitchen with the Junior League of the Palm Beaches. Today we are making two different recipes. We're making a jammy egg, which is kind of, it's a hard boiled egg, but that nice consistency that you like of a um, easy over um, kind of egg and very easy to peel. And while that's cooking, it only takes seven minutes, we are going to make, it's called a smash toast with avocado, tomato, egg, and cheese. And it's super easy and a nice alternative to sugary cereals um, that, or just a snack in the morning. So um, first we're going to just take the eggs and you're just going to boil water to a nice hard boil. And you're going to take a, um, something like this very easily and just put them into the water just like so. And Preferably with a ladle to make sure that you're not cracking it once it hits the pot if you just drop them in. And while Adrian is putting those in, I'm going to set our seven minute timer. And we also have um, ice. This is the key to the jammy egg, is after it's done, we're going to put it in um, some ice water. So I'll put some water in here and we've got our ice. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're taking our, um, our bread and you're going to just kind of smash it down to kind of make like a boat. And you can kind of pinch it like this if you want to kind of make a boat. It's not really, it's not that big of a deal. Um, if you have kind of bread like this, it will do better than kind of thick bread. And this is a really great way to get your kids involved. I know that a lot of the little ones really like to actually smash it with their fists and pound it down. Just make sure that they're keeping that in the middle so that we have that nice barrier on the outside for when it's baking. Okay. So then we have two different options for the eggs. You can either crack the egg directly onto the toast, which is actually super delicious, my favorite. Or if you like more like a scrambled egg, you can um, you know, crack it like a scrambled egg, uh, stir it up, whisk it up, and then pour it on. Okay, so um, if you wanna yeah. do it also. So we're gonna start assembling our smashed toast. We've got some very, Wonderfully sliced Roman tomatoes here, I think, as our base. I'm gonna put some avocados on top of that. Perfectly right. Now, I know that when I'm shopping for my avocados, I do like to buy them rock hard at the store and let them ripen on my counter just so that I can make sure that when I'm buying them, they haven't been manhandled by a whole bunch of shoppers and they don't have any bruising. So I recommend that to all of my friends. So we're gonna do a couple. Um, so I find if you crack the egg first, it's nice to put it right on there, okay? First, and then add the avocado and the tomato. My daughter also likes to put the tomato and um, avocado on after it cooks, because she doesn't like it. So you cooked. So whatever you prefer, there's all kinds of options. We're just giving you some different ideas. And then, I'm gonna sprinkle these with cheese so that they melt on top, and more importantly, keep everything suctioned in. <laughs> we have two different types of cheese here. I believe we have sharp cheddar and mozzarella. The more merrier cheese is cheese and it makes everybody's heart happy. Unless you're lactose intolerant. And you can do this in the regular oven at 350 degrees, I believe. Um, or you can also do it, or sorry, it says 375. You can also do it in a toaster oven if you have that. Um, it works just as well. You know, I know not everyone has a, um, access to an oven, but a toaster oven works just as well. And we can put um, for our tomato. Oh, yes, egg first, top 
in seconds, yes. and then put it all yes. in the so oh. egg first, and then you can do it either way. It's it's really up to you. It's all fun. Do you want to put the And then we're going to put this um, into the oven, and with a little bit of um, TV magic, we'll come back and it will be all done. Okay, so we're taking them out of the water, and we're putting them directly into the ice bath after our seven minutes is up. And unfortunately, these may have gone just slightly over seven minutes. But um, we will, they're still very good. The trick with putting them in the ice water after is it makes them really easy to peel and make sure that the actual egg is kind of like detached from the shell. And you'll see that in just a second when we crack them for you. And so you want to um, have them in the ice bath for at least two minutes. And then, um, you know, you can peel them after that. So we'll pause it again. Okay, so now we have um, our eggs that are cooled down. So we'll just show you how easy these are to, yeah. These are to peel, it's gonna be so satisfying. Ooh. And we've already started a couple, and we'll give you a little close up of um, how nice and jammy they are. I always like to rinse off the egg uh, in the faucet just to get any leftover um, shell off. It feels jammy. Okay, so we'll cut those open and then we'll give you, do you want to give a little close up of our jammy eggs? Yes, I will. And then we'll also take this out of the oven. Oh, those look so good. I don't know if you're ready for this. And these are really good on just avocado toast in general for kids' lunches. Wowie! <laughs> and we have our toasts that are just in the oven. Um, and you can see, let's see again, up higher. <laughs> and um, that's it. And now you have a great meal. Should have.